Alright guys, we're taking a look at a new rogue called System Defragmenter. And I believe it's a clone of the uh, Anvi rogues, which include uh, Paladin and uh, rogues like that. But, it does some pretty interesting things that the other ones didn't do. So let's have a look at it. Alright, so the installer's gone. Let's go ahead and uh, run a program. Oh, that worked. Okay. Let's wait a minute here. Uh-oh. System error. EXE file is corrupted and can't be run. Hard drive scan required. Let's do it. So, we're greeted with System Defragmenter, and it really doesn't mention anything about malware at all. It's, I guess it's like a fake diagnostic program. You've got a uh, dashboard of different stuff, computer hard drives, settings, performance, proactive data protection, system health, and something else that's scanning right now. It's going to find some problems. No problems in the uh, missing drivers area. That's good. Alright, so it's found 11 errors, like um, hard drive doesn't respond to system commands. RAM temperature is at 83 degrees. Wow. That's pretty high, actually. Then you got this. 1,532 megabytes to be removed for computer performance optimization performance issue. Which doesn't mean a damn thing. So we'll leave that tab. We've got a defragmenter. I'm sure that's like what it looks like on every uh, computer. It'll look like that. It's got your settings here. You got Russian. Let's see if it changes. Wow, I didn't even need a language pack. That's pretty cool. Well, maybe I do. It would look it would look normal if I had the language pack. But I don't. So it won't. Alright, so you got all of this, all of this. Alright, let's have a look at the help and support. You get this uh, System Defragmenter Safe Browser. Unfortunately, the site we're looking for is down, but we can still look at the uh, browser. It's pretty interesting. It tries to rip off IE8, and it's got a one tab that you cannot close. You cannot uh, make a new tab. You've got the URL bar, which you can't change. You've got Secure Pay Inc in your um, little uh, HTTPS thing. You've got a refresh button that refreshes the page and a stop button that does nothing. They're getting better. They're getting better. It looks almost legit. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and uh, buy it. Try to buy it. Alright, so we go to activate and of course the site is down, unfortunately. Now this is the weird part. You ready for this? Let's go ahead and run defragmentation. It's going to tell me to restart in safe mode. But when you click OK, something happens. So it starts to fix the issue and it takes away your uh, start bar. Well, at least you can get to that. And, of course, uh, Task Manager is, should still be uh, blocked, I think. Maybe not. Well, that's interesting. It was blocking it earlier. wonder if it'll block it now. Hmm. That's weird. Alright, let's have a look. Let's go ahead and run a, a command. Let's run regedit. What? Can't find regedit. Where is CMD? Where's all of this? Alright, let's have a look at, a, at an explorer window. So we'll go to C, Windows. What the hell? That's my program files. How did that get in Windows? Let's make sure I'm not seeing things. Nope, they're all there. But I can't access any of them. Not even Windows Media Player. 
This is weird. Let's try to get to System 32. What the fuck? How how did it turn into documents? And I can't even get into that folder. Alright, let's see what's in program files. How in the world did this happen? How does this happen? I'm serious. Would you like to know what really happened? My guess is that it hijacked the explorer process and turned program files into uh, the system root. This is just beyond weird. Let's see if we can get to system 32 now. Can't get to it. I don't know how this happened, but... Whew, man, this is just jacked up. Explorer? As you can see, there's an Explorer file and an explorer.exe, but it's missing the, uh, the, what is it, the thumbnail? This is just weird. It's not digitally signed, as far as I can tell. Something got hijacked big time in this thing. And removal is going to be a pain in the ass with this, I can already tell you that. So this thing is just crazy weird, crazy weird. And for now, that's about all I can show you of System Defragmenter. Like I said, removal is going to be uh, a little bit complicated because it hijacked Explorer, and I'm not sure how um, any removal programs like Malwarebytes is going to handle that with System32 being under program files. So for now, that's it.